uh so uh, in the in the part 2 uh, of this uh, series of lectures on interface circuits uh, we will see uh, now how an uh, schemic trigger uh, is uh, designed okay so so uh, if you see here uh, uh, this is an uh, at, at this is an uh, my simulation results and not from any textbook so if you see here uh, this is for uh, 45 nanometer Uh, technology uh, devices okay uh, so 45 nanometer technology uh, the uh, uh, nominal voltage is 1 volt so this is 1 uh, volt uh, so this is the vtc curve okay it it goes from here it comes from here right and, and the sizing uh, uh, which has been uh, used here is 1:2 uh, uh, okay so i get an uh, close to a symmetrical uh, vtc out here right for for 1 volt so uh, this vil is uh, 460 uh, milli volt and vih is uh, 576 right so uh, can uh, somebody uh, tell me what will be the noise margin low anybody uh, in the chat box can you just uh, write what will be the uh, noise margin uh, low how much will be the noise margin low this is vil uh, 468 uh, noise margin low yeah yogesh it is not 1 minus 468 it is 468 right a uh, noise margin is that range of input voltage right yeah correct uh, that voltage of input voltage which will be considered as 1 so uh, any voltage between 0 to 468 volts uh, will not cause me uh, will will give me an output 1 itself so it is so the noise margin is 468 here low and what about the noise margin high is like 1 minus uh no uh, 4 576 uh, okay like yogesh had brought out 1 minus uh, no, no 576 okay uh, that will also uh, probably uh, uh, come close to this i guess right so what uh, there is, there might be a small difference so this is known as the uh, noise margin high right and and with the same uh, devices uh, if i uh, reduce the vdd right so then this curve uh, becomes like this right so it is 371 and now if you see here the noise margins so the amount of noise uh, which uh, this particular device can tolerate uh, is uh, lesser right so again if i go uh, to an a lower voltage and and if i go to 0.4 volt then uh, these noise uh, na, margins will further decrease now uh, you might be uh, telling a uh, few things uh, first of all when we are uh, mov moving some from 180 uh, to 90 to 45 and to further below obviously the vdd uh, decreases okay uh, so so that is an uh, issue so we, as we move from one technology to other now the vdd is decreasing because we know it is an, a constant electric uh, na, uh, scaling where we need to uh, keep the uh, uh, na, right uh, electric fields within a, uh, within the device uh, na, in a manageable levels uh, so that is why the vdd is decreasing and hence the noise margin Uh, decreases okay that is one and uh, also uh, say i have only 45 nanometer devices but then uh, i have to uh, interface uh, now with uh, so many signals which are there in the external world so so many iot devices are there right they they need not operate at 1 volt right so uh, uh, vdd is uh, uh, right in, in for those uh, now, <clears throat> uh, signals uh, could be only 0.6 volt right because a power supply is an, a major a constraint for uh, iot devices right? suppose you have an uh, sensor which is uh, uh, placed which doesn't uh, which is placed on your uh, 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 say on in a uh, moving on uh, a tire okay which senses the uh, pressure and all okay so though they all operate on uh, batteries like right so 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 in many applications when we are interfacing it uh, with the external circuits uh, those iot devices uh, may not uh, have the you know, power supply of 1 volt and 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 in most cases the power supply available will be very very uh, limited for those devices and uh, even though you might be using a uh, 45 nanometer technology or 22 nanometer but there might be an uh, requirement to operate the circuit and uh, at uh, much uh, lower uh, voltages so noise margin uh, and, uh, is an a big issue when we operate these uh, any circuit at at low uh, vdds right okay uh, uh, so if you see here uh, not only the uh, noise margin uh, 
but there could be an uh, issue with the now these are all uh, uh, simulations which i did in cadence and uh, in, in for uh, <coughs> at, at 45 nanometer uh, not only that as we keep uh, reducing the vdd uh, the uh, delays uh, keep uh, increasing so if you see here uh, the delay is in a 375 and a picosecond and 507 picosecond for uh, this uh, uh, this is uh, low to uh, low to high yeah this is from uh, high to low uh, 375 and 507 respectively uh, for one volt as i uh, decrease the voltage to 0 0.8 now the delay has gone to uh, 653 and when i come to 0 0.6 it has become a uh, 3.1 nanosecond and 5.1 nanosecond right and now if i go to uh, 0 0.4 out here uh, it becomes 78 nanosecond and 105 uh, nanosecond so you see uh, in conventional uh, inverter as we keep uh, decreasing the pdd for a conventional inverter mm, there are two issues uh, one the uh, delay keeps increasing okay and the second problem is the noise margin uh, keeps decreasing so both these issues are the drawbacks of an uh, conventional inverter when operated at uh, low uh, vdds okay so these are the two uh, issues which uh, normally we face so we have to find some circuit uh, which can overcome these uh, drawbacks okay so what is that circuit uh, so mm, what uh, okay let's uh, uh, before uh, we uh, understand uh, uh, the uh, schema trigger uh, operation so schema triggers we use to overcome those two limitations but but let's just uh, uh, recall the equations and uh, what we learned in the vlsi classes about uh, inverter uh, threshing uh, threshold switching threshold voltage vm right so uh, inverter uh, switching threshold voltage is nothing but uh, that if you uh, draw an uh, an uh, line uh, from here at at which is an uh, corresponding to v out is equal to v in that is 45 at, at a 45 degree angle so wherever it intersects the vtc curve uh, that is known as vm okay uh, so that gives an uh, rough indication of uh, where the vtc uh, where the uh, vtc is is it towards uh, left or it is to the right if it is exactly at vdd by 2 i can say it is uh, uh, if it is uh, uh, okay uh, so if it is uh, exactly uh, if it is cutting this curve uh, exactly in uh, between uh, that is at vdd by 2 i can say uh, this curve is uh, symmetrically placed and uh, with respect to the uh, vdd okay uh, so uh, what is switching threshold like this is an in the vtc curve of an inverter and if i am trying to make a line uh, v out is equal to v in if i make a, a line if i draw an uh, a line out here okay if i so the slope is right and uh, uh, the the slope would be half right uh, uh, slope will be yeah uh, slope will be one uh, sorry the slope will be one out here so at, at 45 degree from the x-axis so it will intersect the vtc uh, at a point uh, which is known as uh, vm right now if you uh, uh, do the sizing of these uh, transistors in such a manner that uh, vm is equal to uh, vdd by 2 then it is known as a uh, perfectly matched inverter right it is symmetrical with respect to vdd okay uh, so so this is how <coughs> so so how to uh, calculate that uh, uh, vm uh, what do we do how to calculate that vm so we uh, uh, try to uh, find out what is the current uh, at that particular time we, because the current being provided by the nmos is equal to the uh, current being provided by the pmos is equal to the current being uh, uh, sunk by the uh, uh, nmos right so if we equate those two uh, currents so we can uh, write this equation i n is equal to mu n c ox w by l uh, v g s minus uh, v m square v m square is that input voltage right and uh, we are uh, we are looking at this uh, v m voltage right in between so i put in a, uh, this is the saturation current equation v g s minus v m square uh, and and so uh, mu n c ox i write it as a beta n uh, so i get beta n and now if i uh, 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 equate it to the pmos current of an inverter it becomes a beta p v uh, sgp minus vtp square right so see these two currents we are uh, uh, e equating right now uh, uh, <coughs> so so if, if you equate uh, uh, these two uh, uh, equations right so this is where it has been uh, uh, equated and the uh, vs 
G, uh, G that is the between the source and the gate of the PMOS at the gate you have VM and at the source you have a VDD so this gets transformed into VDD minus VM right so this gets uh, VDD uh, minus VM so uh, if you uh, do just a, a bit of an uh, uh, so you take a square root and you remove the squares and then you do a rearrangement so we get this uh, equation for VM and uh, this is what this detailed derivation uh, we did in our uh, VLSI class right so VDD minus so you get the, this equation to find out the inverter uh, switching uh, threshold uh, so so uh, if you again uh, beta n and beta p uh, p is mu and c ox is written by k and dash so this can be written so uh, if you see here if you uh, in this equation if i uh, try to keep an uh, vtn and v uh, na, vtp same so uh, and and beta n is equal to uh, na, beta p then vm becomes vdd by 2 okay that is how we get an asymmetrical case so this is the uh, equation uh, uh, for uh, getting an uh, threshold voltage so we get an uh, vdd by 2 so there are uh, two conditions to be met for to get vm is equal to vdd by 2 uh, one is uh, v uh, this like vtp and vtn has to be the same right so that mod of vtp vtp is negative so that's why i say mod of vtp and vtn has to be same uh, second uh, condition is beta n and beta p has to be the same okay now if i go to uh, beta n and beta p right now it, it is mu and c ox mu and so these, these will be the same right if you keep the l is equal to same uh, also right mu n by mu p the mobility of the electrons is two to three times higher than that of mu p so if you have to keep an, a beta same the width of the p mass has to be uh, twice uh, actually it comes out to be uh, 2.4 or you can uh, roughly uh, like in uh, you studied in the vsi vlsi classes we generally keep the uh, width of the p mass twice that of the uh, n mos so these are the two conditions uh, na, we should follow to keep a symmetrical vtc one if you increase the width of the p mos to uh, we, uh, we, you have to keep the inc uh, width of the p mos as uh, two times that of n mos and vtp and vtn that uh, that has to be same and that is generally same for uh, most of the technology okay say uh, most of the technology guys they ensure that vtn and vtps are the uh, same okay so that is how we get an uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, no, symmetrical uh, characteristics okay uh, now uh, another thing uh, which we need to uh, see here you might be uh, wondering uh, in this uh, curve uh, okay uh, when we saw this curve that and uh, uh, at, at point zero fold uh, right the nmos may not be switching on at all right uh, right at, this is what you are, you are getting an uh, no, this vtc curve okay at 0 0.4 volt right so this nmos will never get switched on at all you might be uh, thinking that way but that is not the case actually right uh, why because uh, so this is the uh, normal if you plot an a uh, root id versus vgs curve uh, this is the uh, curve which you should get for the saturation current it has to come and uh, uh, intercept at an abt but that doesn't uh, happen actually this curve is like this in all uh, practical devices uh, that means if i if i plot in the log scale out here you will find uh, there is an a uh, current here which is known as weak inversion region or you could also call it a sub threshold condition that means even when the voltages are um, below uh, vt uh, there will be some currents in the uh, nmos and uh, pmos right it could be say from 1 nano up to 1000 nano okay so uh, this, this is also uh, almost in, uh, 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 in this region uh, you could have a uh, 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 few decades change in current okay it is not uh, small uh, so uh, and 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 we know this uh, if you have uh, uh, learned pm in the pmmd classes you might have learned this uh, slope is for a cmos it is a uh, 60 millivolt per uh, decade like for every uh, 60 millivolt uh, change of uh, vt the current will change by one decade so you know there it is a uh, significant uh, change in the uh, current levels uh, so uh, even if we are operating uh, below vt uh, still this can be considered as an uh, nmos and uh, pmos okay only thing is the uh, current equations will uh, change out here so uh, so uh, the current equations uh, 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 will be like this now uh, i dn will be i on into e to the power of so this equation uh, so uh, what is important to note out here is uh, again the current out here is an a uh, function of w by l okay 
uh, here even in the inversion region uh, th this much is uh, good enough as an uh, takeaway point uh, for us that one that even in the inversion uh, region the currents will be in the uh, order of uh, nano amperes right and it can change uh, by few decades okay and the second takeaway from this particular slide should be that it is still dependent on uh, w by l okay so w by l ratio uh, again comes in this uh, equation okay uh, so that is why uh, so you can uh, go through this uh, paper uh, by uh, sharif uh, so the reference is given here so uh, he found out the uh, no, inverter uh, threshold uh, equation out here right uh, here also it is if you see it is a, a function of iop divided by uh, ion iop is again uh, proportional to the uh, current in the uh, width of the uh, pmos uh, and ion is width of the nmos so if you if i increase the width of the pmos the threshold voltage will increase that means this curve will move towards the uh, right right if i increase the width of the nmos keeping a width of pmos constant then uh, this will be lower and this curve will move towards the left okay so again uh, even in sub threshold region uh, i have the same kind of uh, vtc curve which can either go to left or it can go to right uh, depending on the uh, width of these uh, uh, transistors okay so uh, even if it is in sub threshold region okay that is what requires to be uh, understood okay uh, now uh, let us uh, see uh, before we uh, take on the uh, design of a schematic trigger let's see some of the uh, applications so uh, what a uh, schematic trigger is okay uh, what a schematic trigger is uh, like uh, for a small voltages when i am increasing the voltage the vdd uh, will not go and come here in the center uh, instead it will go uh, further ahead and then fall right so that is we, we known as uh no uh, uh we uh, uh, skim it point high right so that means it, it, it this is the point at which it is going to make an uh, for in, input on a voltage it is going to make a transition from high to low and when the signal is uh, coming back okay once it has gone to high uh, when it is coming back then it will make an uh, transition from an uh, uh, low to high when the voltage uh, reaches v skim it point low so uh, for a normal uh, inverter both these points are the same whereas now we have something known as uh, hysteresis width okay this is vh hysteresis width is given by the uh, difference of these two uh, trip points okay these two uh, trip points right so now the uh, advantage out here is the noise margin low is from 0 to vsph right so now it is increased so i have an uh, uh, increased no uh, no uh, i have an increased noise margin out here uh, similarly uh, from uh, for the noise margin low it will be vdd minus v uh, spl so i have uh, increased noise margin high and increased noise margin uh, low also right so uh, what is uh, uh, what what's the uh, question in the nil what is low L low output level that's all okay Uh, in in the previous uh, signal uh, it is iop and uh, ion right this is the uh, uh, iop and ion is uh, p is ion is this right which is a function of w by l uh, similarly uh, this is for the uh, uh, p uh, this is a uh, uh, log okay okay uh, so uh, you uh, understood what is the desired uh, vtc characteristics of an uh, schematic trigger uh, all of you okay now if you see uh, this is the input some noise is coming here right it's making a, a transition here so the output will not uh, change here only when the uh, input is uh, going beyond this vshp the output is making an a uh, transition uh, again the signal is varying here it will not make a transition here now again it is going up so it will continue to remain high only when the signal is falling uh, below uh, this vspl it is making an uh transition so obviously you can uh, see that uh, it has got an uh, from here to here is the noise margin low and from uh, vdd to this point is the noise margin high so you have a higher uh, noise margins in this uh, schematic trigger okay so uh, so these are the interface circuits because whenever a signal is coming from outside it is bound to have lot of uh, noise right so when you are interfacing it with the outside world so this cut shorts all those noise so it is more uh, immune to uh, noise so this is how an uh, schematic trigger 
uh, looks like okay so uh, what happens is uh, initially say my uh, input is 0 and my uh, output is 1 right so uh, as, uh, now what happens when the output is 1 out here is uh, this nmos transistor is switched on this is an nmos transistor uh, this is switched on and i have an uh, vdd here in fact it will not be vdd it will be a vdd minus because nmos is not a good transmitter of one so it is a vdd minus vth okay so this node will continue to remain at an, a vdd minus a vth so as the input uh, signal is uh, increasing out here right as it keeps uh, increasing right this transistor will not get switched on because uh, this uh, vgs minus and uh, 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 this uh, minus and uh, this vgs uh, because it is not ground here it is a uh, high voltage out here so that is why uh, this will not be switched on because uh, 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 there is a vtn uh, required right here drop across so this this will not be switched on this will be only this will be uh, switched on and the input vo and and this voltage will continue to uh, remain at vdd minus vth uh, till the time uh, this is able to draw a uh, greater current than what is being supplied by uh, this right so because uh, this will try to pull down this voltage and this will try to maintain this voltage so only when when the input voltage uh, increases uh, sufficiently so that it can draw more current than what is being uh, pushed by this uh, uh, current by this transistor only then the voltage will uh, start uh, falling down okay once uh, and then uh, when the voltage and uh, starts and uh, falling down this voltage then this m2 will get and uh, uh, switched on okay and once that gets uh, switched on right so immediately this voltage will uh, start falling if this falls the current provided by m3 uh, reduces if current fall uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, uh, provided by m3 reduces then this node voltage will uh, decrease further faster now uh, and then more current will flow here so this will become a uh, positive loop and this voltage will uh, make an, a fast switching from a uh, high to low so this this becomes an a positive feedback uh, network uh, is this operation uh, clear to all of you uh, I'll, I'll i'll repeat it now once again for sure right uh, initially uh, the voltage input voltage is uh, zero okay if it is initially input voltage is zero output voltage is one if output voltage is one this m3 will be switched on right this is an nmos you have vdd here so uh, nmos can uh, at max and uh, give vdd minus v vt voltage right it is not a good transmitter of one which we have seen in our, in our earlier class pmos can transmit good one nmos cannot transmit a good one so the node voltage here will be vdd minus vth okay so this is the, the condition now uh, uh, m1 m2 m3 yeah time being you can uh, uh, assume they are all of the same size we will uh, just see uh, what is the difference it is going to make in the vtc characteristic uh, even it is of the same size let's assume it's in the uh, same uh, size as of now okay uh, so uh, now this node is this node voltage is vdd minus vth uh, so as the input voltage increases this cannot be switched on because you uh, know vgs uh, this vgs uh, will not be more than the threshold voltage of v2 so only this will be uh, switched on initially right it will keep uh, uh, switching on it will keep uh, drawing currents but this will keep supplying current so this node voltage so this voltage will start dropping only when when m1 is uh, no, pulling down uh, more current than what is being uh, no, given by uh, m3 right okay only then this voltage will uh, start uh, falling down and once that start falling down m2 will be uh, triggered on because now uh, no, uh, this threshold voltage condition will be met like vgs uh, uh, will be greater than threshold voltage because this is now started falling then m2 will get switched on the moment m2 get uh, switched on this voltage will drop uh, that will cause an uh, uh, no, a low gate voltage so this current will drop if the current provided by m3 so that will allow this node to go uh, to low at a faster rate and and then the positive feedback uh, loop is established and 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 you have an, a sharp uh, vtc uh, from v out high to low there will be a sharp transition uh, is it uh, uh, okay with all of you
Okay, uh, let me ask you a small question. Uh, in case initially, if M1 and M2 are both W, and now if I uh, put an, uh, M3 as uh, twice the size of M1, uh, what will happen to the uh, VTC curve? Uh, will it uh, move towards the right or towards the left? Is the question understood? Okay, initially uh, M1 and M3 are of the same size. Uh, now I am going to uh, increase the size of uh, M2. I am increasing it by twice. Uh, what happens to the uh, VTC curve? Will it move towards the right or towards the left? Yeah, uh, uh, Ravi, uh, anybody? Anubhav? It is going to uh, move. Uh, towards right towards right right uh, because now uh, m3 is stronger uh, so i will require that much more uh, in uh, uh, the m1 has to uh, now uh, be uh, further biased to get the uh, signal uh, 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 this voltage uh, uh, to low right so if i make uh, m3 stronger it will may, uh, move towards the right if i make m1 stronger it will move towards the uh, left right so that is what uh, so you, by uh, adjusting the ratios of m1 and m3 uh, i can change the uh, hysteresis bit okay the same thing uh, happens in the uh, pmos part also now, now suppose the input is high now out here right so this will become a low when this is low here uh, this transistor is uh, switched on and there is a uh, ground avail available out here right now when the input is going from high to low right this will be uh, switched on and it will uh, try to uh, get this node to uh, when, when this is uh, uh, switched off this will try to um, pull this node to high right whereas uh, this is going to uh, this is since this is uh, uh, initially the output was low out here this is switched on and this will try to maintain this potential at uh, zero here right so now this transistor has to uh, overcome the effect of m5 has to overcome the effect of m6 for pulling it to one so the same whatever we discussed in the uh, nmos network will is applicable here for high to low switching also if you if i make m6 stronger then the hysteresis width increases right if i make an, uh, 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 similarly if i increase m3 the hysteresis width on the left hand side increases if i uh, 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 if i increase m6 uh, the lower uh, trip point increases so this is a way we can adjust the uh, required hysteresis width okay uh, so uh, let's see uh, this uh, equation how this equation is formed uh, so uh, if you see here uh, v in is equal to that input voltage uh, and, uh, for which and, uh, 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 <coughs> yeah, M, uh, M2 gets switched on. What is that input voltage uh, for uh, which M2 gets uh, switched on? Okay, we are uh, talking about that particular point that we call it VSPH. Okay, because after that, and, uh, a positive uh, no, uh, loop will be formed, right? The S M2 has to be switched on, right? And on for M2 uh, to be switched on, right? It has to be uh, this input voltage will be VTH2, that is the threshold voltage plus VX, right? So if you see, V gate to source voltage will be what? Uh, VSP uh, minus VX, right? So that is why this equation is V sph that means the voltage at which you know, it is going to make a low to high transition that higher trip point uh, is equal to right and you know, vth2 plus vx okay so uh, we have written uh, one equation here now also at that point uh, at, at that particular point when when this starts just when this starts conducting the currents in m1 and m3 will be uh, same okay whatever current is being provided by they become uh, equal right as as this again becomes further than this you know, that is how the voltage starts you know, dropping at that particular point if i equate the uh, current equations it will be uh, beta by 2 uh, v s p h minus v t n square and, and this is you know, beta 3 uh, so uh, you have an uh, v d d being applied here right and this is vx so the gate to source voltage will be vdd minus vx and vthn okay vthn is the threshold voltage here now if you see here this transistor and this transistor has got the uh, same uh, body effect because the source are not grounded here as well as here uh, but both the sources are in the uh, same potential so i can write in a vthn2 is equal to vth uh, n3 
right so uh, if you uh, see here uh, from this equation okay in this equation uh, vx you know if you if i substitute as vsph right and uh, 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 minus vt uh, n2 i can write but in, instead of n2 i can write an n3 also so if i uh, substitute that uh, and do a swapping so I'll, I'll i'll get this this is the final x uh, the, oh sorry this is the expression which i get right so if you see here if i keep the uh, uh, length constant okay so v sph is a function of uh, uh, w1 and w3 okay so this is what uh, we get so if you got to uh, remember uh, this equation and uh, uh, to uh, compute the uh, schematic trigger uh, and, uh, uh, trip points right uh, similarly for the uh, other trip point for the low trip point okay everything and, uh, so this is the equation if you try to uh, 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 equate the currents uh, and if you do the substitution we get a vspl as vdd minus okay vspl minus vth p okay p is the uh, threshold voltage of the uh, p devices again if you see if you keep the l constant it is a uh, function of w5 uh, w5 and w6 okay so uh, you will get a uh, similar response out here right so these are the uh, two equations uh, which are uh, required to compute the uh, threshold voltage of the uh, okay so uh, we'll uh, just uh, see one problem uh, just two slides and then uh, we'll take a uh, break right okay now uh, design and uh, design and simulate a schematic trigger using a short channel with a vsp is equal to 400 vsph is equal to uh, uh, 700 millivolt vth for both n and p is given as 0.5 and w by l minimum is given as uh, 10 out here right so uh, if you see here uh, okay uh, <clears throat> now uh, one more uh, important uh, thing uh, which we uh, need to uh, see here is uh, okay I'm, uh, be careful with what i'm saying now the width of m2 okay generally is kept the higher of the widths between these two okay uh, the width of m2 is like suppose this is 10 w, this is 1w and this is 10w for certain application then this has to be a uh, 10w okay so so uh, similarly whatever is the uh, width between uh, these two so so that uh, uh, this is kept as the higher of the width between these two so uh, beta 1 is greater than or equal to beta 1 or beta 3 okay so uh, this is the equation similarly uh, beta 4 will be greater than or equal to beta 5 and uh, beta uh, 6 okay so that needs to be uh, remembered for your uh, design okay and uh, now if you see here uh, if you have to find out the uh, 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 w values okay this voltage is given sphs is, uh, 700 so uh, 1 vdd minus sph by sph minus vtn right so 1 minus 0 0.7 0 0.7 minus uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 is the uh, threshold voltage oh, sorry let me uh, here there is an error this will be uh, point uh, 0.25 okay so a uh, threshold voltage is 0.25 so i uh, substitute 0.25 and, and uh, if l is kept in a constant so i get an w1 and value of w2 okay wl minimum is given as 10 uh, so since i am taking uh, l as 1 so w1 will become 10 and w3 will become 22.5 right and and similarly in this equation it is an, uh, like an, uh, if you go to this equation it is vspl uh, low is given as an uh, uh, 400 millivolt so this 4.4 vdd minus 0.4 minus a vtp so 0.25 so if i do a square of this and uh, l is kept constant so w5 by w6 is 1.3 so uh, w6 you know i am taking it as uh, 20 out here uh, because uh, twice that of the uh, n mos okay uh, so that is the reason i have taken it as 20 so accordingly w5 will become uh, 26 okay this is how we uh, design and uh, if you try to uh, simulate it if i given a triangular signal you will find uh, this is the triangular signal right so the output is changing from high to low when it is reaching vsph right uh, whereas after that when i am getting the triangular signal is going low it will make a transition when the uh, input is again uh, coming below spl so if you see here this is the first trip point this is the second trip point from the uh, y axis you can see it is 0 0.4 and 0 0.7 okay uh, is this uh, graph understood yeah okay 
so so th these equations you need to uh, remember okay for your uh, design problem okay these two equations if you remember uh, and also uh, you need to remember that the size of uh, m4 and m2 uh, have to be uh, meet these conditions. So, uh, higher of the sizes of M1 and M3 will decide the size of uh, M2 and higher of the sizes of M5 and M6 will decide the uh, size of M4. So, that much you need to remember and these two equations you need to uh, remember. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> So uh, uh, let's uh, see, uh, try and uh, see what will be the uh, propagation delay. So again, uh, like for an uh, inverter, uh, we saw the propagation delay would be uh, 0 0.7 in the VLSI uh, design class we have learned, uh, Rn uh, and into the C load. Uh, here, if you see here, uh, this this uh, C capacitance and uh, needs to be uh, discharged through uh, M1 and M2. Uh, similarly, it needs to be uh, charged through M4 and M5. Right. So, this is the charging path and this is the uh, discharging path. So, uh, accordingly in the uh, propagation uh, delay equations, you have Rn1 and Rn2, Rp4 and, and this is this also we discussed in the VLSI design classes. So, this is an empirical value uh, to compute Rn and Rp for most of the technology nodes. Okay. Uh, so, the current in the current technology nodes, if I have to find out uh, Rn and Rp, so I can uh, use uh, this formula. So, this is how the uh, delays can be. Uh, calculated. So, if you have to uh, keep the uh, rise time and the fall times uh, uh, close to each other, obviously, uh, I will have to, uh, no, uh, since it is 12.5 and 30, so I need to uh, keep the width of the PMOS uh, twice that of the uh, NMOS like we did for an uh, inverter. Okay, So, the same uh, issues uh, here also. Right. Uh, now, let us see one or two um, applications of uh, schemic trigger. Now, uh, if you see here, this is an uh, schemic trigger uh, inverter and I have put an, an uh, RC out here. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, initially uh, this is uh, this out, this is the, there is no voltage across the capacitor uh, and, and this is an, uh, uh, high voltage. Now, this capacitor will uh, keep getting uh, charged towards an, uh, VSPH. Right, uh, so so RC. So I can write and uh, this is the final voltage VSH. Right, it it has to reach this voltage. So uh, VC. So e to the power of minus t uh, RC from zero it will get a charge. So I can uh, write the time uh, required for this to reach the uh, high trip point will be T1 is equal to RC. Uh, right and uh, we uh, it's not actually doesn't start from zero it will uh, start from v uh, spl okay uh, because once it reach spl it will again uh, trip so i can uh, write this equation right so this will be the time taken for it to uh, discharge no, charge from v spl to vsp this is again a normal uh, capacitor charge equation right uh, similarly uh, once it gets to a high state Okay, V uh, 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 SH, right? Uh, again, it has to get uh, discharged to uh, V. Uh, so, uh, now again, the capacitor uh, charge equation is written here. And uh, again, I, if I try to uh, find out uh, T2, so this will be the equation, right? And RC into log VDD minus VSPL. So, this will be the total uh, frequency of operation will be 1 by T1 plus uh, T2, right? So, if you see here, T2 is the uh, uh, discharge uh, time. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, T2 will be the, uh, th this is going to be the uh, charging time, right? If, if T is equal to uh, 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 infinity, okay, so uh, this will become, uh, uh, T is equal to 0, it will become uh, uh, SPH, right? So, it is, uh, uh, so from VSPH, it is getting this, uh, from VSPH, it is uh, getting uh, charge to this. So, these two are the equations which uh, you need to know. So, this is one of just the uh, application. So, you can uh, use an uh, schemic trigger uh, to uh, create these kind of uh, waveforms. So, once you connect an RC network, it will start uh, oscillating out here. O obviously, the frequency of oscillation uh, can be uh, varied by uh, changing the R and uh, C values. Okay, so we can uh, do that. So, this is one uh, application of uh, schematic trigger. Uh, and this is another voltage controlled uh, oscillator with the uh, schematic trigger. Uh, what uh, we are uh, doing out here is uh, we are giving a uh, triangular waveform uh, out here to the uh, schematic trigger, right? So uh, we know that you know, once we give a triangular uh, signal, so we get these kind of waveforms at the uh, output, right? So okay. 
uh, oscillation part see see uh, initially suppose uh, uh, this is at a uh, uh, high voltage this capacitor will start getting charged okay so when it gets charged to v uh, high trip point it will uh, trip like it will it will trip and there will be a change of state to high uh, to to low right uh, again when it becomes low this this will start a uh, discharging and when it will come to the low trip point again it will uh, trip so this is how the oscillations uh, will happen here because the trip points are uh, different okay so that is the reason it will result in uh, oscillation so uh, now uh, we i can give a triangular signal out here i am using an uh, inverter and i also going to put an external capacitor and i am giving uh, going to give the uh, control the current which is an uh, flowing in this inverter uh, through these uh, to this we saw when we learned about vc also right uh, so by adjusting this bias voltage the slope of this triangular voltage uh, can be uh, changed if i give an high control you know, uh, no uh, no, high voltage uh, control voltages uh, then this will rise fast and uh, no, fall uh, no, no, uh, fast okay uh, so uh, the, 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 so this slope depends on the uh, current which is uh, available in this network which is controlled by this uh, m1 and uh, m4 so and then i use a schematic trigger put a one more inverter and give a uh, feedback out here so this i can use it as an uh, voltage controlled uh, uh, oscillator okay using an uh, schematic trigger uh, is this operation uh, clear to all of you it is just like like uh, one uh, schematic trigger one inverter uh, back to back it is three inverters are connected uh, in loop so they will start oscillating only thing is uh, here i am using a uh, schematic trigger and uh, here i am using a uh, current stopped uh, inverter so that uh, i am able to control the uh, slope out here so uh, this is one now uh, application of an uh, schematic trigger you can uh, use this right okay uh, now uh, when i uh, did some study on the uh, schematic trigger uh, power aspect uh, so uh, what i found is, is when we uh, increase an uh, v in right uh, n2 starts uh, uh, conducting and n3 is also uh, conducting right so both these transistors they conduct at the uh, same uh, time and it will uh, continue till i reach the uh, trip point so if i uh, plot the uh, current out here if you see here okay uh, during this uh, so the current is going increasing from here and you know, so for a large uh, period of time uh, both this n1 and n2 are uh, conducting and there is a path from vdt to uh, ground here so uh, you see a spike in uh, current here uh, similarly when the voltage is uh, coming low uh, you will fry from this 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 gets uh, switched on whereas this is also switched on trying to maintain this set uh, on a ground so you will have there is a path from p2 to p3 to the ground uh, for a large time so you will find uh, this so these are uh, two graphs uh, this was uh, 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 one the top one is using uh, uh, hetero effects and this is with cmos so in both the cases uh, the uh, philosophy is uh, same out here uh, so uh, this is the output uh, from here okay it will be the vtc curve will be like this and if i put an inverter uh, this is the uh, curve like suppose i am just using this circuit for an wave shaping that is the input this is uh, replicating the input only thing is and hysteresis has been uh, incorporated so uh, v out and v in are uh, replication of each other only thing is an hysteresis has been uh, no, introduced in between which will eliminate the noise so i have put one more inverter out here so in in both the cases if you uh, see here there is a, uh, a large amount of uh, static current uh, uh, no, uh, no. <coughs> In a large amount of current which flows uh, through n1 and 2 for a longer duration uh, because both these transistors remain on for considerable amount of time during uh, switching uh, is this uh, these graphs understood okay okay uh, so uh, rather so uh, i can and uh, this is another uh, no, uh, simulation result of mine where uh, i can uh, increase the width of the uh, n2 and p2 and uh, change the uh, hysteresis width okay, okay now here i am increasing uh, this uh, n2 width this width this width if i uh, increase that width right and uh, it is uh, uh, come the hysteresis is coming uh, closer right okay because now uh, this has become uh, sorry uh, if this is uh, no, stronger the hysteresis width will be uh, if this is stronger then it will have a large hysteresis so that can be uh, seen from uh, this i have just uh, here in this particular uh, simulation i have uh, sorry uh, i am changing only this okay so this is the kind of uh, hysteresis uh, width you can adjust to your required level whatever it is 
right okay uh, now uh, this is just a, a plot where i have a sinusoidal uh, input if you see here uh, now this is in the uh, transient response okay this is not the uh, no, uh, so uh, in the transient response you, know, you, ca you, you can't just uh, see the trip points you know, uh, clearly uh, you can only because when it is uh, rising out here the uh, trip you know, it might have crossed the trip point here but the output will not get reflected ex and exactly so there will be some uh, delay right so you can see the trip points clearly only in the uh, DC simulation so if you are uh, working uh, on a design aspect so when you do a transient analysis now uh, because of the uh, delays uh, involved you can't uh, clearly see the uh, trip point but you can only uh, see that when the input signal is uh, going very high this is making a uh, transition here right here and when it is coming very low it is making a transition but this should not be constituted as an a trip point in the transient analysis because this includes the delay also right it might have started tripping from here itself but there is some a delay so uh, when you do the simulations you have to be uh, you can actually call uh, find out the trip point only through a uh, dc analysis and not through uh, ac analysis okay that is what i uh, wanted to uh, tell you from this uh, slide okay uh, so uh, uh, what uh, I did was uh, uh, instead of uh, this is an uh, alternative schematic uh, of which I propose so if you see here 1 2 3 uh, 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 only 6 transistors have been uh, used uh, whereas uh, uh, here in the conventional uh, for, to get the same wave shaping 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, 8 transistors are used uh, there is another advantage I will tell you in this configuration uh, suppose the input is 0 okay so you have uh, output here as uh, uh, 1 and you have an uh, output here as 0 this is an inverter you will have uh, this transistor being uh, switched on okay so so this is not there so i have one uh, uh, lvt device also this is an hvt device so uh, this is also uh, connected in parallel now you can uh, see this as an inverter okay this has an inverter with uh, two pmos hvt and lvt connected in parallel obviously this is an, a stronger uh, pmos which is connected out here right so now it is a uh, simple inverter which has got a uh, strong p so if i see the vtc curve it will go and uh, it will go uh, higher and once the it, it trips okay this will become uh, low this will become high uh, this will be uh, switched off if this is uh, switched off now i am using an hvt here and an uh, normal vt here so while coming back okay now this is much uh, 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 stronger out here right because this is hvt so so while uh, coming back it will make an uh, transition here so you see by using an uh, combination of hvt and lvt uh, i have uh, got the uh, required uh, hysteresis right so uh, in this case uh, there is no uh, simultaneous conduction of uh, devices for a uh, long time okay uh, so what i am doing is uh, uh, when while i am moving forward right the pmos has to be uh, stronger okay so this is looking uh, like this right because i have taken an an, uh, an uh, uh, output from a v out okay so that is why this vtc is you now uh, following the input signal okay so uh, here it, it it this noise margin is from here to here okay the output is you no know, is a replica of the uh, input out here they uh, not replica i should say it is in phase with the input okay now it, this has been pushed forward by uh, because uh, uh, to, to for this to switch on pmos is strong because this hvt and lvt they come in uh, uh, parallel to each other initially because this is an uh, uh, input is low output is low and this is switched on so this makes the lvt and hvt devices to work in uh, parallel to each other okay and whereas uh, once this uh, makes an uh, 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 trip it crosses the trip and the output toggles then this this is this this transistor gets uh, switched off from here because this is high this gets switched off uh, so this lvt is now removed from the uh, circuit okay uh, so now this becomes a uh, weak okay so uh, then and when it is uh, uh, coming back it will uh, make a uh, transition uh, out here right so uh, that is the technique which was used here uh, so uh, we, uh, so this is uh, one of my uh, papers uh, this is uh, my uh, son and uh, 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 okay abhay so me and my son together uh, we have published some eight nine papers uh, together 
okay uh, he is doing his uh, he is also doing his uh, uh, mtech uh, so uh, this was uh, uh, one of the designs which we propose and uh, you can refer to this journal where uh, some more theory about na schema trigger is explained okay uh, so so if you see here uh, uh, in the earlier conventional design uh, you had to uh, use large uh, transistors okay to get the hysteresis uh, whereas uh, where i have used hvt and lvt uh, i could uh, get the same hysteresis i have kept the hysteresis with same for the same hysteresis i could use uh, uh, lower uh, transistors lower width transistors no smaller transistors uh, but varying uh, vt uh, so you could see there is a uh, substantial uh, saving in the uh, area also uh, over and about number of transistors also is lesser okay so na, the width is also na, uh, na, uh, lesser and so uh, so th these are some of the and a uh, figure of merits which was uh, compared uh, so you see and uh, the transistor count is lesser out here the power is lesser uh, delay is lesser and and the overall uh, pdp is uh, lesser okay uh, so uh, i'll show you some uh, simulation results so that's all uh, for today yeah uh, let me uh, demonstrate to you now how an uh, schema trigger works so uh, this is the uh, conventional uh, schema trigger Uh, so if i uh, do an uh, simulation okay uh, what i am uh, doing is a, a dc simulation but i am doing an uh, uh, hysteresis okay a hysteresis sweep that is i am increasing the uh, vdd uh, the v input from 0 to vdd and i am going to uh, come back okay so that is known as a hysteresis sweep so i do an uh, hysteresis sweep out here so you see here so uh, you uh, this is like while going positive it, it, so and while coming uh, negative you have this particular uh, hysteresis of it right so let me uh, change the color right okay uh, now what i am uh, going to do is right now i'm going to uh, increase the uh, size of uh, 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 these uh, transistors Uh, or let me uh, increase the uh, size of uh, uh, these stands let me do okay uh, i can uh, i can uh, do this also uh, instead of uh, uh, one 120 no okay uh, let let me increase this instead of 120 I give one two zero zero. And uh, here instead of two forty, I give two four uh, zero zero. Right, and instead of replace, it will be append. Now I'm uh, doing a simulation with that. so uh, if you see here and uh, now uh, since i have made the uh, these transistors uh, stronger i have made this and uh, this uh, stronger so the uh, hysteresis is now uh, uh, smaller out here it's making right so uh, by accordingly uh, sizing the transistors uh, i can uh, change the uh, hysteresis uh, uh, could you also plot the input and uh, and a uh, voltage uh, junction between the uh, transistors okay what was okay uh, so uh, this is the uh, voltage which is uh there out here okay between the uh, voltage okay uh, uh when uh, uh, like this is for the uh, la last run right it is an uh, uh, decreasing uh, slowly uh, but when it has uh, come to around a uh, 0.4 volt 
right when it is come to 0.4 volt then uh, m2 has uh, switched on because the threshold voltage is around close to uh, 0.6 volt when uh, this has reached around 0.6 volt uh, the threshold this only then here it is an uh, uh, so th so you will have this voltage and uh, this transistor being uh, triggered out here so the moment this gets uh, triggered then it makes so this has to uh, fall uh, below that particular uh, voltage for this to get uh, triggered so that is uh, shown here okay okay uh, now uh, let me uh, show you um, something more uh, I have used an, a one volt and a uh, VDD out here so uh, I can uh, uh, do that if I uh, like if I if I make this inverter in sub threshold also 0 0.4 out here and then and I uh, sweep this also at uh, 0 0.4 see uh, this is the uh, thing which I get right again uh, uh, right and this is for 0 0.4 volt this is that uh, right uh, that means even in a sub threshold uh, region of operation it works like an uh, inverter okay so uh, although uh, 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 one can argue that uh, uh, that voltage is not sufficient uh, for the NMOS to get uh, switched on at all because 0.4 volt only so uh, 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 it, it is you can say that this NMOS will not get switched on at all but that's not the case uh, because of uh, sub threshold uh, uh, conduction okay it will still work like an uh, inverter so even if uh, if I get the uh, supply voltages at, at 0.54 volt also uh, still it works like an uh, inverter okay so that is what I wanted to uh, show you okay uh, thanks a lot we'll uh, meet in the uh, next week now